Hello, guys. Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to a, a new vlog. This will probably be the last vlog from 2022. I want this video to be kind of a, I guess a restart, reset, basically a little bit, a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of organizing, a little bit of just getting ready for the new year i guess i don't know y'all something around there i'll see what i end up titling it or whatever but i want to of course put christmas decorations away start that um i'll probably put all the knickknacks and stuff away that i have out and then put the ornaments away and i'll leave the tree for my sweetheart to put up and then i also want to just clean up a little bit you know kind of um organize a little bit i want to go into my christmas gift bin i have a whole bin if y'all watched my what I got for Christmas video. I have a bin that I got to put more Christmas decorations in because I knew I wouldn't have enough space in the toast that I have for my Christmas decor. We went to Target the other day. Um, I have some clips from that day, so maybe I'll include that into here. I mean, I don't know where I want to start first. I'm thinking just picking up the knickknacks, putting them all in one tote, because it'll probably be just one tote for just knickknacks and everything. And then there'll probably be another tote, probably another tote with all the ornaments and then some more knickknacks. And then the last tote probably will just be blankets and pillows. I'm trying to see how I want to do it because I already have two totes in the back that have stuff in them too as well. So maybe I needed to disperse those. I probably go grab those first toast from the back um, on the balcony and then just have them all laid out here and just get to filling them up basically.
the totes here closed so now i'm done i'm not gonna put them in the back yet just in case there's something that i'm missing and there's like still ornaments on the tree i don't want to move the tree and shake it to make sure i got all the ornaments just because that snow stuff is so annoying and it gets everywhere and it gets stuck to your clothes like i literally have it on my shirt everywhere so i'm just not gonna worry about it i'm just leave it and if there is some i can just throw it in here inside the totes but this is the new tote but i still have all of my um christmas presents in it so i want to I need to empty this and then start putting the pillows and blankets and stuff inside of here. After that, I'll be done. So that didn't really take that much longer. I want to hear if I'm doing because I'm hungry. I think I'll make me some ramen. I want to show you how I make my ramen. Just got done doing a third tote. I put all the pillows and the blankets inside of it, and then now I'm done. That's all of the cord. The only thing that's left is the tree, and that we have the Christmas tree box for that, so we just put that back inside of the Christmas tree box. I have all this stuff right here. I should have thought about it more, and I should have took the tote with the stuff in it and took it into my bedroom and then the closet and put everything up and then emptied the tote instead of having to carry all the stuff individually. So. Yeah, not smart, but anyways, so now, now I'm going to go put my two pair of shoes in my closet, the two perfumes that I got at the closet, probably my jewelry and on my dresser, and then put the diffuser thing in the restroom. I'm going to just do all that, y'all, so <sighs> let me get to it. Okay, so I got everything out to make my ramen. I've been making it lately with this K-Army stew. Ramen, so I'm making it on the stove in the pot. I'm gonna use this pot. I usually use the smaller one, but it's not clean, so I'm just using this one. It's no big deal. And I usually just make the ramen. I just eat it out of the eat out of the pot. I put one of these little I put one of these little things in front of me and put the pot on top so I keep resistant and I just eat the noodle out the pot. But yeah, so I'm gonna just make it in the pot how it says it says two cups of water. I usually put two cups of water and then I take out some of the water because I don't like my nose like too watery. I like a little bit of liquid but not too much. And then I'll start just adding everything else that I add in. I add in butter to make it like a little buttery. Not all this butter, just a little bit of butter. I also add in an egg because it makes it like kind of creamy and more filling too as well. And then I also add Spam in it. I'll like cut this up into little pieces that's why i have this like little piece of spam left in a bowl in the fridge I'll cut this up probably cut like half of this cut it up into like little little strips of it if that makes sense and then i'll add cheese i only have this cheese i usually use a shredded cheese like the american sliced cheese i usually put like one or two of those on top after i'm done with it but i don't have any more so i'm gonna just add this on top hopefully this is fine and it still tastes good it should be fine though <laughs> i'm just gonna put these in there and then it comes with this little veggie pack. It has like beans in it and little like, I think it's just like fish fish cakes. I think that's what's in it. And then here's the soup base. I love how this one tastes. It's really good. Another thing I'm missing is sesame oil. I always add sesame oil to it because I just love the taste of sesame oil. But I didn't get none when we were grocery shopping. How? I don't know. Okay, but I'll probably use half of this. Put the other half back. Cut it like this. And then cut it into smaller strips. I know I'm using a butter knife. <laughs> but I'll just cut it into strips like that. I'll do this one like this way. Just like little pieces. I let it cook until the noodles start to get soft. And then I'll add in the flavoring. I'll take the water out first if I feel like it's too much water. And then I'll add in the soup base, I'll add in the vegetables, I'll add in the butter, and then I'll add the egg in after that. And I don't put the cheese in until after I just put it on top. And then I'll add the spam in before I add the cheese. And I'll just like mix it in because the spam's already cooked, you know, it's just me, you can just eat it like this. So yeah, I'll just put it in there for like a little minute, let it soak up a little, let it soak up a little bit of the broth. And then that's it. And then I'll put the cheese on top and then I'll be done. So it doesn't take long. It cooks pretty fast. Okay, it's starting to cook now. I took away some of the broth, but 
I'm gonna just leave a lot of the broth in just to see how it turns out. Cause I know last time I just took too much broth out. But I think now I'm gonna add in the butter. I'm not gonna add all this butter in. I'm gonna just add about. Oh, it's starting to boil. It's starting to boil, y'all. I'm gonna add in about that much butter. Okay, so next I'm gonna add in a little veggies. Add that in, add the soup base in. They're already starting to get a little transparent. I like my noodles. I like my noodles transparent. I don't like them still like white and chewy. I like them like cooked, y'all. Not too uh, soggy though. I don't like when they get like, um, what's the word? Like when they get mushy, like, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, can y'all see? Yeah, okay. I got the broth in there. It's already starting to smell delicious, a bit fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put the egg in there. Cause I wanna make sure the egg is cooked, of course, too, when it's in there. There goes the egg. But it's already starting to cook, the egg. Okay, now the egg is cooked. Let me turn this down, y'all. Now I'm gonna add the Spam inside. Okay, but I'm gonna put this. Let me now I'll turn this off because it's basically cooked. Like it don't take long, y'all. Once it starts to get the heat up and everything, is that's it. Make sure the spam is like in it. See, it's still liquidy, but it's nothing too crazy, you know. Okay, so I brought my ramen over here with me. I got me oh, I got me a sparkling water to drink along with it. But just to show y'all a bite, just to show y'all how good it looks. <clears throat> There's a good bite. Let me take a mm. But I'm going to go ahead and continue eating this and enjoy it. I'm watching uh, YouTube with it. And I'll get back with y'all afterwards. Hello, guys. Good afternoon. I was going to say good morning. Uh, but yeah, it's in the afternoon. All I did this morning was play my game and clean up a little bit and that's it. But I've been cleaning here and there. But yeah, my sweetheart went to work and he came home and he bought me some Starbucks. And it's already almost gone. And then I had a cheese danish. But I'm going to cook tonight. I'm going to make spaghetti tonight. <laughs> but yeah, I figured I'll show you something that I bought. I can't remember if I included it in a vlog or not or if I haven't showed y'all. But I got a couple things from... Pop shelf, so I figured I'd show y'all because why not? I got this broom holder to put in the closet, the storage closet over here to hang the broom up. I still haven't done that yet. I'm gonna do it. I also got this. I also got this to have easy. This was a dollar, that's why I got it. Cause I know like the regular like name brand one is like three, four dollars. So I was like, why not? So I think I'll use this to try it out. I wanted to try out the soft butter thing, so I got this at Pop Shelf. I was so upset, y'all, because I seen one in the dollar section of Target. It was so cute. It was white and gray. Instead of like having black on it, I would prefer that one. And it was smaller. This one's so big. But, and it was $3. It was cheaper. This was $5. But oh well. I saw it after I got this. But I got this. I want to try putting butter in and see what happens. And if it works to like, you know, have soft butter. Lastly, I got this. This is not from Pop This is from Target, but I just had it in the bag. But I found these really cute bookends to have in case I was to ever get that shelf that I want. And I can use this for decor. And it was in the dollar section, so I was like, why not? Because I'm sure eventually I'll end up using it. But yeah, it's so cute. They're marble and they're heavy. Like, really heavy. Like, they're actual bookends. I was so shocked. And also, I got a haul from Target. This is like all dollar section stuff, y'all. Yeah, I know. But first thing I got, it's all Valentine's stuff, basically. I went and it was like a little bit stocked up. So I was like, you know what? Why not? So... Got this container, it's really cute, it's like this light blush pink and then a red top. I figured I'd get this for like, if we have like candy or snacks or something, just have it on the counter and everything's like just like on the counter, you know? So I got that. I also got these pot holders. It's a pink heart and it's like a red one with hearts on it. It's so cute. So I'm just have this like on the counter. I thought that was really cute. They also had this... Tic Tac thing. This is just like not even Valentine. This is like normally because if I really wanted to, I can just like paint the letters a different color and just keep them on the keep this on the coffee table because it's like just really cute to have. So, but they had it for Valentine's in the Dollar Tree Target. So, got that. That that was really cute just to have. 
and play because I've always I've always wanted like a nice one, like a ceramic one or like a resin one from like Etsy or like Crate and Barrel or CB2, but they're expensive, so I thought that was a better better option. I got this really cute heart candle, and it smells so good. The scent is sugared violet. It smells so good, and it's so cute. This gives me anthropology vibes. It's so cute. And then I got this just for just for giggles, just to try and see how it works. My sister got me this robotic vacuum cleaner thing from Five Below. I was gonna buy it one day. There was a couple times I was gonna buy it. I just never bought it, and she got it for me for Christmas. I showed this. I showed this in my when I got for Christmas video. If you haven't watched that. I can go back and watch it, see if I got for Christmas. But this is one of the gifts that I got. And yeah, I want to go ahead and try it. I'm curious if it needs to be charged or not. I think it's I think it's like a charger that comes in here. Ooh. Okay, it's in some plastic thing. Don't know what that is for. Oh yeah, there is a charger. There's a cord. Okay, it has little things on it. I guess those are, this is like basically like the sweeping part of it. Oh, it has like a little suction. Okay, the suction is small. Okay, it has like the wheels on it. So how do you start it then, I wonder? So I'm guessing it's not charged, probably. Well, how do you start it? That's the charger. It has a filter and is this where the dirt goes? It's not gonna pick up a lot of dirt then, because this is so small. This is this, so. I'm guessing this comes out. So I'm still not sure if. Oh, okay, it is on. It's loud. Ooh, it's loud. I was worried about that. I mean, it's no big deal, but I can't really tell y'all. But, I mean, so far, cool. I didn't think this was the button, but this is the button. I thought it was just like a light to indicate it was like off or on or whatever, but. That's literally the button and it just starts going, so. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. It detects like you hit something, that's cool. going in the same circle. I picked that up. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. Oh. But I just stopped it. I ran it for a little bit. Um, it definitely picks up hair. Like my hair is in these little broom things. So I guess that's good. They have this big thing. It's only gonna pick up stuff that hits right here, of course. So it's not gonna pick up every single thing, but um, let's open it up and see how much dirt we picked up. There's no dirt on top, but there's dirt in here. So it did pick up a good amount of dirt, wow. Oh, it picked up that big old piece of what you call it. Wow. But honestly, I mean, not that bad. For the price point, it's not that bad, y'all. It picks up dirt. It does what it's supposed to do. I I don't know about the sweepers, because I think the sweepers just, like, pushes stuff, like, out. Like, pushes the dirt everywhere. It doesn't really, like, push the, like, I think the point of the sweepers is to sweep the stuff towards the hole. So it sucks up everything it's hitting, but it's not doing that. That's the only thing, and it's loud. But, not bad. But yeah, that was my unboxing and trial and try out and review of the wannabe Roomba from Fabolo. But I'm going to keep running it, y'all. My sweetheart is grabbing the Christmas tree box because we're finally going to put the Christmas tree up, y'all. 
I'll be on my way. Hey. Okay, we just put the Christmas tree up. We're gonna put the mirror back right here. So now this space over here is plain back to normal. I need to put my little step stool up. So I need to organize this. We have a bunch of reusable bags right here that needs to like fold down and put into this container because some of them are, but we just threw some on top. This Nike bag needs to go in the trash because it was a gift and then the gift's not in there anymore. I need to fix this, put this right here with the mop inside of it. I probably could put that craft paper in the balcony, on the balcony. But yeah, I'm gonna fix this up and then, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hang this up in there on the side to hang the broom up. So I'm gonna clean it up first and then I'll do this with y'all. Okay, I finished organizing the closet. I have the mop bucket right here with the mop. Little plunger, I have our two vacuums right here. And I'm going to put that up in the back soon. But I have a printer box that I added into here because my mom gave it to me. But I don't have the right cord for it. I need to go buy the cord for it so I can use it. But, <clears throat> and I think I need ink too. Oh my gosh. But it's a little tote that we keep like all our little reusable bags in. Then I just have this um, cold bag just right on top. And then I'm going to put the broom thing like right here somewhere. So the broom can just be like right here. So I'm about to do that. Hopefully the sticky part of this is like sturdy enough because that broom got some little weight on it. Okay, so I already put it on. I guess I just take this off and then that's it. But this is the thing. This is what it looks like. Hopefully this is firm enough. This might take off the paint in there. I'm a little worried about that. But I'm sure I just go like that, I'll open it up and then put the broom and the sticks in there. So yeah, let's try it. Try to put it as high as I can. I'm gonna put it out right there. Let me show y'all. So I put it right here. So let's see. We have a dust pan on the broom too, so but it should be fine. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna do it about right there. Okay. Hey, but that worked out good. So if I want some of these broom holders, but y'all aren't trying to spin arm and a leg on a pack of them from like Costco or Sam's Club that come on like three or five to like $20, go to Pop Shelf, get one for I think a dollar or two dollars. I can't remember. It wasn't more than three dollars I know for sure, but just go get you one of these. We're gonna finally open up this pasta that we got for Christmas for my mom. We had, it's been sitting on this counter for how long now, y'all? Gold. I hope it doesn't like turn or change. So here's the wrap, y'all. All the pencils. Oh, they're like a gray color. That's even better. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a pen. Oh, that's cute. It's like speckled. Can y'all see? Yeah, that's cute. Oh, look at this lid. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Wow. I thought they were gonna be like a nude, but they're like a gray, which is even better. Cause like we have a lot of gray in the apartment, but oh my gosh. Look, it's like all speckled on the inside. Pretty. Here's the containers. They're nice, they have a little snap. The snap top. Regular, oh, regular flat pan. Up close. So here's the biggest container, and then this is the next size, and then here's the next size, the next size, with another next size, and then the smallest size. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six containers. Also came with these, which are just like um, to like pot separators to put into the pots so that don't scrape each other. I believe, just to show y'all what all comes in it, 
it has this pan with this um, cooling rack and it has the big pot the smaller saucepan and then the little saucepan these all have lids and then it has this fry pan the smaller fry pan they don't have lids but I think I think these lids are supposed to fit on them like that if that makes sense and then these are the protectors this cake pan the containers the little utensils and then this pizza pan but here's this pan this is the biggest like um what is it called on here stock pot this is the biggest pot I keep saying pans because I call these pans too but really this is a pan and this is a pot so this is the biggest pot with the lid the smaller saucepan and then the smaller saucepan with the lid here's the biggest fry pan with the smaller fry pan and then the two pans the cake one which is nine inches the pizza pan and then just like the regular like bacon pan so yeah and then here are the utensils it's this whisk but it also comes with this cute spatula i love this size so i think i probably end up using this one a lot because i really like how this the size of it and then this little spoon too to like stir i really like these and then these beautiful tongs are so cute they're like mostly gold yeah oh and then it also comes with the cooling rack i like stood it up to see how high it sits up but yeah it comes with this cooling rack too Till I die, I eat. 